there is a temperate rainforest in Canada called the Great Bear Rainforest. It is the home of grizzly bears, black bears, and the rare Komodi bear. These bears are amazing fishers. They fish for their food in the rivers, streams, and lakes of North America. The Komodi bear is a cream color and is also known as the spirit bear. The Komodi bear was worshipped as a spirit bear by some of the native rainforest tribes in Canada. The bears eat as much as they can during the summer, and in the winter months when it is colder, they hibernate. Bears can be found all around the world, in grasslands, deserts, on icebergs, and in temperate rainforests. Beavers are builders. They have special knowledge and skill in building dams across rivers and streams. They live in burrows on riverbanks or in distinctive houses called beaver lodges that they build made from sticks, mud and branches. Beavers build the dams to make ponds and swamps to fish and live in. They are herbivores but mainly eat plants, bark and weeds. Beavers are mammals. They live on land, but spend a lot of time underwater. A beaver can hold its breath for a full 15 minutes underwater before having to come up for air. Beavers prefer to live in temperate rainforests. They can be found in Asia, Europe, and North America. They are the world's largest rodent and have thick brown fur, two front teeth that stick out like the teeth of a rabbit, and a tail shaped like a paddle which helps them to swim so efficiently. Bats live in groups called colonies. In rainforests, the number of bats living in the trees and caves is enormous. They make up around 50% of the mammals living there. Bats are nocturnal. This means that they hunt or gather food at night and sleep in the day. Bats can eat over 3,000 insects per night. Rainforest bats eat lots of fruit, and some eat even small animals, like frogs. These bats have the ability to know the difference between poisonous frogs and frogs that are good to eat. Nectar-feeding bats have a long tongue, to help them drink deep inside the flower. Bats are important to the rainforest ecosystem. They help with the process of pollination and seed distribution in the rainforest to keep it healthy and constantly growing. Butterflies experience metamorphosis. They begin life as a caterpillar and morph into a butterfly. Butterflies are found all over the world. They thrive in tropical rainforest environments where there is an abundance of food and shelter. Adult butterflies mainly drink the nectar from flowers. Some tropical butterflies have more unusual feeding habits. Some will eat pollen grains, mammal urine, rotting fruit and feces. The largest butterflies in the world can be found in tropical rainforests. For example, the blue morpho butterfly is one of the world's largest butterflies. It has a spread wingspan of up to 20 centimeters. Morpho butterflies have dazzling metallic coloring. The blue morpho butterfly is bright blue with black edging around its wings. There are different types of rainforest butterflies. There are black and yellow swallowtails, red and black butterflies called calicors, bright orange butterflies named Julius, and many more wonderful and exotic tropical rainforest species. Deer. There are numerous species of deer that live around the world. The very largest deer is a moose, and the smallest deer species in the world is the southern pudu, found in South America. 
deer can live in tropical rainforests or in tropical climates. They can also live in temperate forests, such as those found in the UK. Deer live in groups called herds. Nearly all male deer have antlers, except for the caribou, also known as reindeer, where both male and female deer have antlers, and the Chinese water deer, who has no antlers at all. Herds are usually ruled over by a dominant male deer. He is often challenged by younger males for his position. The deer's antlers are used as protection against predators, to attack other males who are trying to take over the herd, and to impress females. Deer are hunted by humans for their meat and precious antlers. Harpy eagles are the largest birds in the rainforest. They are deadly predators and can fly up to 80 miles per hour. They are so big that they've even been known to snatch up small deer as prey. Harpy eagles have a sharp beak and talons that are as long as the claws of a grizzly bear. They have an iron grip to stop any prey escaping. Harpy eagles are two different colours. Their head and upper body is covered in dark grey feathers and their lower body is covered in white feathers. Their razor-sharp beak helps them to tear their food. Harpy eagles can survive for a long time without food. Sometimes they can last two weeks without getting hungry. Harpy eagles build enormous nests. They're careful to keep their nests clean. They use fresh green branches to stop any harmful parasites breeding in the nest. Hawks come in many shapes, sizes and species. A hawk is a general term for any bird that has sharp claws and hooded beaks. There are many different hawks. They are known as rainforest raptors. Hawks are predators. Hawks live in the canopy layer, but mainly they make their home in the emergent layer. This is the very top layer of the forest. The emergent layer is exposed to high temperatures and a very changeable weather. In the United Kingdom, you may see soaring overhead or hovering, waiting to swoop down on their prey. Hawks eat fruit, nuts, seeds, fish, small and medium-sized mammals, depending on the size and strength of the hawk. The hummingbird is the smallest bird in the world, with up to 350 different species. They are special because they have a long, pointed beak and an extra long tongue that they use to drink the nectar from inside flowers. Hummingbirds have an incredibly fast heartbeat. This is because they have to flap their wings extremely quickly when hovering over the flowers. Their wings are moving so fast that they create a humming sound, which is how these birds got their name. Hummingbirds can be found in rainforests where there are plenty of insects to eat and delicious flowers. They burn energy quickly and can eat up to eight times per hour. Hummingbirds also eat small insects, pollen and tree sap. They have brightly coloured feathers that have a metallic shine. Moose are part of the deer family. They are very adaptable and can live in several different climates, from dry and cold to hot and humid. The moose are found more in the northern hemisphere. They prefer to be near large areas of water and can even be found living in swampland. They live alone, but come together in groups of males called bulls and females called cows when it is time to mate. The bulls will fight each other to win a more powerful position in the group and to impress the female cows. Moose have large shovel-shaped antlers. These are very heavy and can weigh up to 30 kilograms. Once a year, the moose will shed one layer of their antlers. Moose are hunted by bears and wolves, 
They are also hunted by humans for their antlers. Moose antlers are an important source of calcium for other creatures. Tropical and temperate rainforests are also the home of different owl species. Several species of the eagle owl live in the tropical rainforests of Africa. Eagle owls are some of the largest rainforest raptors in the world. Eagle owls can grow as long as 71 centimeters, and that is without their wings unfolded. Owls are nocturnal, which means that they hunt and socialize during the night and sleep in the daytime. Rainforest owls eat small mammals, insects, and invertebrates such as frogs. Rainforest owls, also called wood owls, have brilliantly camouflaged feathers that are spotted with different shades of white, brown, and orange. Their dappled feathers help them to blend into the trees and jungle. Owls can only see straight ahead. That is why they can turn their head 180 degrees. Owls also have excellent hearing, and they make no noise when they fly. They silently swoop down and capture their prey. Rabbits are found all over the world in many different climates. They are normally found in woodlands or temperate forests. Rabbits live underground in a network of holes and tunnels called a warren. Rabbits live in large groups called colonies. Due to deforestation, rabbits are losing much of their natural habitat. For example, there is a species of rabbit that lives in the rainforests of Mexico that have become endangered over the past few decades. This is sadly due to excessive logging, deforestation. Rabbits also live in grasslands and mountain ranges. There are many unknown species of rabbit. Not very long ago, rabbits were just thought to live in temperate, cooler climates. However, more recently, there have been sightings of hares and rabbits in the tropical rainforests of Indonesia. Rabbits are herbivores. They mainly eat grasses. Rabbits have a number of predators, such as other mammals, snakes, bats and eagles. Raccoons are often felt to be a suburban pest like rats or squirrels. But raccoons also live in the rainforests of South and Central America. They eat fruit, eggs, small mammals and invertebrates. They have a black strip of fur that runs across their eyes, making them look like they are wearing a mask. Typically, people think that their markings make them look like bandits or thieves. Raccoons live up to this likeness. They have a nasty bite and are mischievous thieves. Stealing eggs from nests is a daily activity. Raccoons are nocturnal. This means that they come out at night. They are swift climbers and fearless fighters and can quickly escape from or ward off predators twice their size. Wolves normally can be found in North America, Russia and Northern Europe. Wolves normally live in temperate rainforests and dry grasslands, who prefer a cooler or drier climate. Wolves live in groups called packs. They work as a team to hunt down their prey. Some wolves, called sea wolves, live in the forests along the Pacific coast of America. They swim and fish very well. Wolves live in packs for protection and company. The wolf pack is led by a male or female leader. The leader is known as the alpha. The alpha makes important decisions about hunting grounds and is responsible for settling arguments amongst the wolves in the pack. The alpha can often be challenged by other wolves for the place of leader. Wolves do not have many predators because as a group they are effective killers and fighters but a lone wolf is vulnerable. 